Hey guys, welcome to episode three. We're getting spooky up in here tonight. We got some good tapes, like always. It's Halloween. I'm ready for them. Um, we got a special musical guest at the end of the night. It's going to be a real good surprise musical guest. And we also have a new co-host. We had to get rid of a, a certain former co-host. We won't, we won't mention him. But uh, he was just loose cannon wild ball, so we got this guy to replace him. This is Paisano. Come on in, Paisano. Hello, Mamma Mia! Hello! He's, uh, he's going to be bringing us Hello. the tapes. <laughs> you're, you're anxious. You're excited. Oh, no, 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 you're no, no, excited no. for your first oh, tape. Oh, well, just, uh, just hang tight and uh, get, ready, get ready to bring us the next tape. Oh, oh, oh. All right. All right. Crazy. Uh, we got Enter the Yo Zone. Extreme yo-yo. Enter the Ozone. The Extreme Yo-Yo. Featuring Pro World Yo-Yo Master Yo Hans. Yo-Yo is back. Anyway, I am he who is known as Julius. Parents don't know, ain't your parents yo yo? Kick it extreme, enter the yo zone. Join members of World Pro Team Yo Yo as they jam out hot new bands as Plastic 17, Brazzaville, Johnny Mac, and Gina, Gina Shock, Roxy Saint. You know, I don't know if you guys have ever even touched a yo yo, but if you've seen this tape, you'll want to get one and you'll want to get ready to yo yo yourself. Ooh, yo -yo! You'll want to yo-yo all over the place. Oh, yo -yo! So, we'll play a clip of it here now. Oh, no, no, and, no. Um, yeah, it's cool, Pies. Oh, it's cool. Yeah, I know. I know. Winston, no bull comedy break. You ever need a break sometimes? You ever need to just get away? No, no bull. bull. No bull. No, no bull. bull. No, no bull comedy break. Mamma mia! This is uh, over 18 minutes of hilarious oh, comedy. Oh, you, like, you like funny comedy, Pisano? <laughs> you got a sense of humor. You 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 are gonna go far in this business. You got the entertainer on here. You got all laughs. You got no bull. P.S. I like what you've done with the milk crates. <laughs> Wash your dirty <laughs> tub. <laughs> you guys are great. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh man, that's a funny, funny. That's tape. a spicy meatball. You have been chosen. Thanks, thanks for the tape, Mono. Mamma mia! You're way better than that monkey. This is this is our next. Thank y'all. <laughs> this is our next tape. Breaking the alabaster box. Chosen to change the atmosphere. This is T D Jakes. This is one of my personal favorites. I keep it in my collection because whenever times are getting tough and things are getting me down. I put on TD Jakes breaking the alabaster box. Woe be unto the person who seeks anything above God. 
For whatever that thing is, it becomes an idol in your life. For whatever you pursue, you worship. Be careful what you chase. If you're going to pursue it, be sure it's good enough to be your God. You know, this guy, he's got a thing to say and he's got a way to say it. This is T.D. Jakes. You can't discover the power within to arrest your problems around you. And not the presence of God. While Samuel lay around in depression, weeping over God rejecting Saul, God went on a man hunt. God doesn't spend a lot of time running around crying over who doesn't want to do. You can be replaced. <laughs> God's got somebody drunk. You know, have you ever been bombarded with the nauseating smell of dead issues that haunt your life? T.D. Jakes has. They taint your success. You need to get them out of here. Have you ever had your success tainted, Paisano? Oh, your soul. There are situations that arise that you wish could be altered. Oh. God doesn't want you to be laying in a cesspool of the past. God Ooh. never wants that. No, 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 no. There's a fresh anointing that will release you from the altar. Anoint! Her life. Anoint! T.D. Jakes, watch a clip. No, he's not saved, Pastor, but I just got to marry him, and I just think that someday the Lord's going to fit because Roger, so in two years from now, there they are, and you're <gasps> Just killing me. I don't know how I got in this. Shop, pop, 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 You know, Paisano, I sure do like you a whole lot more than that old monkey. Woohoo! Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Mamma mia! Mamma mia! We gotta get out of here. Oh. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Thought you could get rid of me, didn't you, motherfuckers? Well, I'm back, and I brought something with me. Boy, Maestro, what's the story with that crazy monkey? Uh, Paisano, that's Chano. You don't want to hear about him. Oh, but I do. Maybe later. We got a tape to review. Mamma mia. This is... Another great one from the vault. This is command performance. Um, can you like, command a performance? You can command a performance. You know, you're gonna like this one, Paisano. Oh. Um, <laughs>
calling to you. Oh, but I do. You play the accordion. I've seen you. I see, I see you backstage playing the accordion. This has got Kim Buance. This has got Julie Miller. This has got all your favorites. Um, I really wish I had time to just show you this whole tape. Um, maybe we'll go back to Paisano's place and watch the whole thing oh. later. Oh. Um, but you, you know, serious. let's get right to the point. Let's play some of this command performance because this tape oh. is just. This, this is a good one. Put it in the VCR, Paisano. Here you go. All right, I'll give it a shot. My name is Brian D, and I'm a screaming machine. I sling my tearing it up like a lot of it's clean. A full tilt rhythm you can understand. And I can tour the world with the Econo band. On a mission from God, I like to call him a friend. Think the people are sick, then he's a metal sin. Saying love is the key, yeah, and on animosity. And I'm snatching all the children from the enemy. And if you get no, no way, guys. No. Oh, man. This ain't it. It's supposed to be a rap tune. Oh, Thanks a lot, guys. That was perfect. Let's have the next tape, Paisano. Oh, this is the one of my absolute favorites. This is a good oh one. This is a good, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is um, getting in the Halloween, the spooky spirit. I, I saved a scary one for you guys. This is exhilarating. The scares come unexpected. The laughs come quick. Writer's block will make you shriek. Yeah. From the directors of Scream Louder, the hit amateur film sequel to Scream, comes the brand new original 4A into horror. College sophomore Danielle Wilkinson and friends have created a student film called Shriek that becomes a huge cult hit on campus. When the high profile movie studio learns of Shriek, they decide to give Danielle the chance to write a script for them that could ignite his career. But Danielle soon develops a severe case of writer's block. Maybe true, Daniel. But that doesn't change the fact that it's still Scream. It's not Scream. It's Shriek. Shriek, screech, squeal, holler, yell. It doesn't matter. Pick any synonym you want for Scream. It doesn't make a difference. It's still the same movie. That prevents him from coming up with any good ideas for his story. Mar Campbell. Danielle's agent suggests that he look for real life ideas as the script. That's when the murder begins. Writer's Block will keep you on the edge of your seat with its many twists and turns. Presented by Imperial Pictures. This one's scary, guys. It's kind of got me a little nervous. I don't even know if I really want to show too much of it right here, but we'll play oh, a little bit. Data. It's scary, Paisano. I don't oh, know if you should watch this. I've seen it several it's, times. Who could you tell me what to watch and I don't watch? We'll find out. What is it rated? Watch. If this film were with this film were rated, it would receive an R for language and violence. It's too scary for you. <laughs> you do. Who do you think you're talking to? It's too scary for you. Do you know who it is that you're talking to? It's too scary for you. Mamma mia! Your face is too scary. It's too scary for him. A college student named Joe Richards and a guy named Martin Smith. The college kid's body had been found yet. You wouldn't suspect to be in your brother's trunk, do you? Well, I heard about these murders on the TV. You supposing Richard really killed all those people? Yeah, there's reason to believe so. Well, that's ridiculous. Richard weren't hurt no one. How do you know that? Well, Inspector, Richard's a little slow. Jason was a retard, and he slaughtered people all the way through eight of the Friday 13th films. Well, mister, this is real life. This ain't no horror movie. Well, I can tell you this. If you've seen any of what I've seen so far, you'd seriously, seriously rethink that statement. Look, Richard is not responsible for the murders, and that is the end of it. You mind if I have a word with him? 
it gives me great honor to introduce to you the wonderful, magnificent artist, Dave Navarro. Yay! You ready for episode three? It's gonna be a spooky one. 